हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विजय सोलंकी एंड यू वाचिंग समथिंग ऑफ एवरीथिंग इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोस वी हैव शोन यू हाउ टू एनालाइज एंड डिजाइन एन आरसीसी बिल्डिंग इन स्टेट बट इन दोस वीडियोस वी हैव नॉट एडेड द स्टेटस लोडिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मॉडल द स्टेटस इन स्टेट प्रो हाउ टू गिव लोडिंग टू इट how to analyze it and design it and how to add that load in the rc building rc building design okay so let us start this is the staircase as you can see the first slab thickness is approximately 125 mm horizontal distance of landing from the beam is 2.46 and vertical distance is 1.49 the landing length is 815 m as you can see so the first thing is to create a model of staircase so let's create a new model it will be a plan model let's give it a name of stair next add in finish okay let's close the grid Here a node at zero zero zero. The next node shall be at two point forty six horizontal and one point five vertical. Select this. Control C, Control V. Minus two point forty six in my minus in my one point five. As you can see, the second node has came. The third node shall be at one five mm from this node. Minus zero point eight one five. Okay. So as you can see, the linear model of this staircase can be made like this. The next step shall be to assign the support. If your stair is simply supported, just add the pin supports. Okay. If you want the your stair to rest. At this node, we have to provide the support. Else, just remove this uh, support. The next step shall be to create the load case. Let us say we will be analyzing and designing the staircase for dead plus here. The first case will be here. Second case shall be live load. Third will be a combination of it. Let us say one point five DL plus one five LA. Okay. So this is we made a mistake. We have to add one point five in dead load and one point five in land. Okay. Now let us give the property to the staircase. The rest slab thickness is approximately 125 mm. So let's just define it as 125 mm thick, and one meter wide. Assign this property to the whole structure. Press Ctrl 2 to see whether the staircase has been modeled correctly or not. Okay. The next step is to calculate the loads and adding the loads in this. cases so let us say our first slab thickness is 125 mm so the loading shall be 0.125 into 25 is equal to 3.125 kilo newton per meter square but as we are modeling this staircase linearly it will be 3.125 km per meter that will be the self weight of the staircase but you can add this add it by adding the self weight and we will take the load okay the next step shall be the floor finish let us say the floor finish shall be minus 1 So you have to add a member force, uniform member force, 
of minus one, add it and assign by view after finish as can. The next step shall be to add the waste lab sorry step load. So to calculate the step load just start the command P line that is polyline create a triangle of polyline okay the next step should be to get the area of polyline as you can see the area is 0 0.2083 square feet that means area into 25 will give you the load of step right so so the load shall be let us do the li command again so that we can know what is the area of step is that is 0 0.2083 let's edit it Remember 2083 it's in square feet that means we have to divide it by 3.281 3.281 2 times into 25 that will give us a load of step which gives you 0.48 kilometer per meter but this 0.48 kilometer per meter is UDL in this direction so in order to get the UDL in this direction we have to multiply this 0 0.48 to the width of staircase let us say our width of staircase is 1 meter that is 0.48 kN divided by trade that is 0.25 we have so we get <coughs> the staircase load as as 0.98 kN per meter in the other direction, 192. That's the weight of step. Okay, so we have to give these loadings to step. Let us add these loadings. The step that shall be 1.92. Edit, assign to view. The step shall not be coming in this landing step, so we can remove this. Okay, now the live load. Live load on staircase shall be as per IS Edson Fair Part 2. Let us give live load of 3. Just assign it to the view and give the analysis parameter. Design parameters as our IS456 clear cover to the staircase shall be 025. The concrete grade shall be M20. Steel grade shall be FE415. Secondary steel will be same. And okay. This much of commands are okay at this point of time. You can add more commands as per your wish and requirements. Now the command to design the staircase is B. Okay, let's just analyze the structure. Whether we get any warnings or not. But if not, let us see the reactions. Let's go to the cross processing. In 1.5 DL plus LA. This is the front view. Just please see the bending moment diagram. Or just click on the beam and graphs so that you can see the moments coming in the staircase. So shear and moments. Okay, for these moments, we have to calculate the when process of the and design it. Just click on it, double, double click on it, 
and you can see it shows that six number of twelve diagrams is required provided. Three number of ten dia, six number of ten diagrams are provided. Just go to the output file. And you can see the concrete design of beam one and beam two. <coughs> Let us say this is beam one, this is beam two. So the reinforcement requirement in beam one is one ninety two mm square. In beam two is two zero six mm square. Provide the reinforcement accordingly as per the requirement. Now we need to get the reaction of this part. Okay. So this is the FY that you need to. Add. Sorry, this is not the alpha that you need to. You need to add the reactions. Click on the reaction and just right click here above the table. Go to result setup, remove this and add this two. As you can see, for node one, which is node one, this one is node one. Dead load reaction shall be minus twenty three. Dead load reaction shall be minus twelve. Okay, we have to add these loadings to the model that we have prepared. <coughs> so let's just open it in a new structure and add these loadings to it. If you have not seen our videos on how to analyze and design a structure in Step Pro, just click on the link being shown above. And you can see it. Let's just see. This is the staircase. Then. Width of the staircase is assumed as one meter. Okay. So length of this beam is two point two meter. Start of this beam is from here. And we have to give the loading here only. Just go to load and definition. Go to load cases. Go to dead load. We have to add a load here. Member load. How much? Minus twenty three point one thirty two. Minus twenty three point one thirty two. From start zero to end one meter. Add it. And we have to select this. We have to select this. Assigned. As you can see, the dead load of staircase has been assigned to the plane. Likewise, the live load of the staircase that is twelve point twenty five. Just add this twelve point twenty five minus twelve point twenty five zero one point five. Sorry, one minute. Add it. Select this beam. Assign to selected beam and assign. Live load has been assigned to the plane beam. We have to model a measurement level, landing level beam here. Yeah. In order to assign the staircase load, so the maximum level beam shall be at 1.5 meter in y direction. You have to revise the wall loads accordingly and provide the dead load and live load. As you can see, this beam is of 2.2. You have to provide wall load, dead load of staircase. For two meter direction, that means as one meter of this and one meter of this, right? So just add a member load of minus twenty three point one three two. The start point is zero, the end point is two meter. Add it. Select this landing level beam and assign. As you can see, the load has changed. But we have to revise the wall load in such a case, and moreover, we have to provide the effective length factors for this thing, these columns. As you can see, the column is tied in z direction and not in x direction. As you can see, it is tied in its local z direction and not in y direction. We have to provide effective length factors accordingly. If you have not If you do not know how to provide the effective length factor, just click on the link being shown above and visit it. Thank you for watching.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल